hello youtube welcome to a new video my name is abuzi on today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can add texture to your backdrop so using this image as you can see you have already cleaned the backdrop if you haven't watched my last uh, my last video i have posted a video on how to clean your backdrop in photoshop i'll put the link to the video in the uh, in the description below so you guys should go ahead and watch the video if you haven't so uh let's proceed to how to add texture to your backdrop assuming you are using a uh, seamless backdrop and you happen to clean it like this not necessarily seamless backdrop irrespective of whatever kind of backdrop you are using you can take it to the next level using this particular method so assuming you clean your uh, seamless backdrop so the next thing you are going to do is you are going to head over and select your subject using quick selection tool so if you select your quick selection and then you have to go to your select subject and Photoshop will analyze and select this subject for you. So after quick selection does its job, then you zoom in and uh, fix the areas where Photoshop failed to do its job properly. So you go over to your, uh, to your lasso tool and then you add areas that need to be added and then you subtract the areas that need to be subtracted so in order to keep this tutorial short i've already made the selection and saved it so let's do command or control d and then we go over to our select load select and then we load back the selection that i've already made and saved here is the uh, selection that i've already made so after you uh, fix your selection the next thing you are going to do is we are going to make sure we are selecting the uh, layers which we fix our backdrop and then we add layer mask to it but before we do that let's duplicate it let's do command or control d and then we duplicate the layer first by pressing command or control j and then we load back our selection one more time as you can see and then we select the uh, layer which we fix our backdrop does the layer we last copied and then we add layer mask to it so if we disable the two layers below you notice we are only having our subject separated from the background all right let's check back these layers below so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to bring in the texture which we want to add to this particular image so i think we are going to go to our archive and check for which particular image will fit so i think i'm going to add uh, this sky image to the backdrop so let's drag and place it inside our photoshop so let's open back our photoshop so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to scale the sky until it fits exactly how we want it to be in our image so let's shift it and leave it something like this is okay and then we hit enter all right so here we are the next thing we are going to do is we are going to duplicate the layer below the sky layer one more time Control or command j and then we place it right above the sky layer and then we add layer mask to it and then we head over to our gradient tool we make sure our foreground is black and then we drag from the top to the bottom as you can see then we keep on dragging until we are satisfied with the image i think this is okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to head over to our uh, sky layer and then we go over to our adjustment option and then we add hue and saturation so before we adjust anything to our uh, on our hue and saturation we are going to clip the hue and saturation to the sky layer by clicking this particular icon so what will happen is whatever adjustment we make here which will only affect the sky layer so what we are going to do is we are going to dark the sky layer a little I think this is okay let's do before and after and then we head over to our sky layer again and then we add some level of blurry to it by going to filter blur and then we add gaussian blur 
and then we keep it somewhere around i think so let's push it and find out the perfect radius for it i think somewhere around 13 would be fine 20 is okay all right i think this is okay before after just a little of it this is nice all right this is nice already but i think we can make it a little more dramatic so let's add like sunlight to the backdrop i think it will make sense so let's select the above layer and then we go over to our archive one more time let me check this overlay folder i think i'm having some stuff that has to do with sunlight yes so let's add this particular sunlight to the image and then we open back our photoshop and then we change the, the blend mode from normal to screen this is nice and then we place it somewhere around here i think this is nice and then i hit enter but it has to be below our subject layer like this so let's do before after i think this is nice but i will I prefer it if it is more intense then i will just have to duplicate the uh sun layer by pressing command or control j and then i group them and then i name the group to sun and then i hit enter so let's do before after before and after but notice it's creating like uh some hash boundary so let's add layer mask to it and then we use our normal brush with foreground black and then we had this visible hard edges all right so let's do before after before and after so basically that's how you go about adding a uh, texture to your backdrop so let's do before after before and after so if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe and hit a like as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel let's meet in another video